Hey, happy new year! And who's saying new years also says new plans and new projects or actually that's what I want to talk about today. I want to know what you're thinking of the channel so far and what we should do in the next year. But first, before we get started, let's just take a little bit of time just to enjoy some stats a little bit. Because 2022 was a really good year for the channel and I'm really happy to see that my content is helping more and more people every day. I mean, just look at that, you're now more than 3000 people that are subscribed to my YouTube channels, both my French and English channel and my watch time compared to last year just exploded. And on top of that, because I guess it was not enough already, more than 50 people decided to also support me on Patreon and that's just crazy, I still don't believe it. And that leads me to think that, well, you seem to like my content and I want to make 2023 even better. So how are we going to do that? Because we just spent the whole year working on the technical series almost exclusively and now what are we gonna do with this channel? I mean, I could continue working on the technical Tactical series forever, there's a lot of content to cover in there, but I must admit that I'm not as passionate as I was before. Because if you didn't know, this is actually the second time I'm doing this series. I already did it once in 2017, but it was only available in French, and that's why I decided to redo it so it reaches more people now in French and also in English. Of course, the current project is way different than the previous version I did back then because, well, I got better in code, I guess, but deep down, it's still the same project. And to be honest, this is actually the third time I'm redoing the project because I did it a second time in between the first and this one, and it was not good enough in my opinion, so I had to redo it one more time. Yeah, that was a lot of work, but at least it wasn't for nothing because I used that second version to generate the trailer at the beginning of this series. Anyways, all that to say that I spent way too much time on that project in the past few years, and now I think I need a little bit of a break. But that being said, I'm not going to stop working on the series completely because a lot of people requested a bunch of features and improvements that I also would like to implement in the project. And what I did is just take all the feature requests of everybody and added them all in a poll that you can see in the description so you can fill it up and help me decide which feature I should do first. And what I'm gonna do is when I feel like it, I'm just going to pick the most popular features and I'm going to implement them and do tutorial videos to show you how to integrate them in your project. But the delay between the videos is probably going to increase. I'm probably just going to slow down the pace at which the videos are going out, depending on how I feel. And on top of that, I'm also planning to release this project on the Epic Game Marketplace really soon, and it's going to be followed by the series of videos explaining how to use this project as a base for your own game, and that's mainly going to be focused towards the people that only bought the project and that didn't code it completely following all the tutorial series. Which means that the video are only going to cover simple things like adding unit types or different spells or building levels or things like like that. So yeah, the tactical series isn't dead at all, it's just going to become some kind of side series while we start working on other projects. Which is something I actually started doing with the Editor C++ series. I know that that series is not really made for everybody since it's really more pipeline oriented and not that many people care about the pipeline tools, but it's actually something I really like doing for some reason. Even though it's not really useful for my personal project, I really like exploring the editor side of things and play around with those mechanics. And I know it's going to be helpful for all those in the people that are trying to build an Unreal Pipeline. And by the way, there's also a poll for these videos in the description, so go there, fill it up, and let me know which feature I should do first. But now we're at the part where you have some kind of decision power, because I would like to know what kind of videos you'd like to see on the channel over the next year. I already have a few ideas, but I'd like to have more suggestions. Because so far this is what I got. I'm considering the idea of starting to work on my own game, which will use the technical project as a template. The idea is still pretty rough in my head though, but it'd be some kind of roguelike tactical combat game in which the player will get stronger and stronger between the combats. And obviously, I will be recording a series of devlogs showing you the progress week after week. But other than that, I was also thinking of revisiting Python maybe in Unreal 5 because I didn't touch Python at all since 4.22 so it's probably going to be interesting also. Or maybe some code review videos, I don't know if you could send me project and I could review them, maybe that'd be a good idea, I don't know if you'll be interested to see that. Or maybe in videos you send me buggy project. That will be interesting. Uh, you send me a project that has a missing feature, or not a missing feature, but a buggy feature, a feature that has a bug that you would like me to look at and try to fix it for you, and I think it will be interesting to record some videos showing my process and how I'm debugging the code, because I think that is a skill that a lot of people need to work on and get better at it, because debugging code it can be a little bit difficult if you don't know how to do it. Or maybe I could record some kind of challenge videos, uh, videos in which I could ask you to code some kind of basic features, and then you can send me your project, I could collect them and then review them on, in another video alongside of my 
my answer, showing you how I did it and how you did it, and maybe your answers are going to be better than mine, and I think that would be uh, pretty interesting to compare them. Or what about live streaming? I don't know how many of you would be interested to see me do live stream in which I would work on my own project or things like that. I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm rambling now, so I'm going to stop, and you let me know what you think. Thanks again for the support. This year was really my best year on YouTube so far, and it's all because of you. I mean, look at those numbers one more time. It's just awesome. I even got my English channel monetized recently, and that's pretty nice. My French channel is still getting there. It's slow, but it's going to get there uh, soon, I guess. Uh, it's just missing some watch time. But anyway, I want to also say thanks again to all the people that are supporting me on Patreon. That's just crazy. You're, you're just the best. The Patreon wall evolved so much in so little time, and I'm really proud of it. Not because of my bad art, but just because of all your names and all the people that are supporting me, and that's, that's just nice. Okay, I think I'm rambling again. So I think I'm going to do another video to go deeper in details on that. A anyway, for now, just let me know what you think. Fill up the polls and I hope you're going to like the new content. And that's gonna be it for today's video. So I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.